Okay, so why are we talking about this now? And why weren't we talking about space junk decades ago? Yeah, and look, I think this is a good question is, people have worried about space junk decades ago, but really we're starting to see the massive impacts of it and it becoming a, a worldwide problem because essentially we are launching a lot of stuff and we're launching at it at a rate that we just have never seen before. In fact, so if you look here, this is uh, the number of rocket launches, and this is successful and unsuccessful. So back in the 60s and 70s, even though there looked like a lot, a lot of these actually never made it into the orbit. And nowadays you can see things like, well, some of these numbers are really starting to tick up. So China is really launching it. China launches the most rockets, in fact, of anyone. The US and private companies, Russia still launches, all these groups. So there's actually lots of things being launched into space. And this is actually one of the points. It's not just the satellite, the rocket goes up with it. All of the bits of the rocket go with it. All of the things that may fall off the rocket go with it. So it's the sheer volume of things going into orbit. Yeah, so for a long time, the bulk of the rockets were all these Russian sort of Soviet ones. And the, the problem here was basically that the Soviet spy satellites and electronics got fried by the radiation in space. Right. So they needed to launch a new one every time they wanted to look at something. Exactly. So the Americans would launch a few of them, which then stay up there for 10 years. The Russians would launch one that lasted two weeks. Which actually is in many ways an advantage for the Russians because they could build, build them faster. Oh, we, have a, we have a crisis in uh, you know, the Middle East. Let's launch five rockets to go and look at that. Whereas the Americans, their rocket might be in the wrong place. Yep. Um, in fact, most of the satellites you see at night when you look up are dots are often disused bits like boosters exactly. or Russian spy satellites that were launched back in you know, 1980 or something and have been up there ever since. But now it's climbing again. We've not seen all the SpaceX constellations and right. things like this. There's now a lot going up. There is a lot. And when we start to then look at how many of these are successful, we can see again, yeah, in the 60s and 70s, there, there was quite a few failures. So they may have never quite made it or they didn't fully work. Nowadays, so this is, you know, as of uh, March 2022, the blue is the predicted plan. You can, you can really see we're really starting to go up at a fast rate. And, and, and as we talked about before, it's not just one satellite per rocket. Some of these rockets can take 10, 50. I think the record is 140 satellites on one launch. So it's now lots of things per rocket, as opposed to down here, it generally was one satellite per one rocket. So when we start then thinking about the volume of objects in space, so this is now we've made it into space. What are the satellites that are here? And we're looking at, again, this low Earth orbit, some about 200 kilometers to almost 2,000 kilometers. The red ones are the small ones, and we're, we're doing a lot of small satellites now, the green. Yeah, that's presumably because of the advances in electronics, you can now build a satellite. Exactly. As we'll talk about later, that's, that's this big, and have it do something useful, which was not possible in 1970. That's right. So there's an advantage of it, but you still have that in space. You still have yeah. more small satellites in space. And of course, if you're being hit by one, at these sort of speeds, if it's the size of a brick or the size of a bus, you're still dead either way. Exactly. Either way, it's a catastrophe. So even though we still have, as you said, some of these really big ones that were quite popular back in the 70s and 80s and 90s, the small ones, which again, as you see, we are talking about three to five times more per year th than previously combined. So the reason we worry about it nowadays is that as we see the growth of everything, it's happening at a, at a rate that worries people. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not, again, just talking about the satellites themselves, the orange or the rockets. There's now all of this other bits, as we're going to start talking about now, the debris that comes with it, that is at a, essentially an alarming rate. And I don't like to use that word lightly, but it really is, right, Paul? So this is kind of why we worry about it now, is yes, there's lots of satellites. They do great things, as we've covered in lots of part of this course. But we are now sending so many of them so fast that it is really a, a part of the time that we've never compared to. And there's no sign of slowing down. 